Hi, I'm Evan. And I'm Cade. Welcome to this week's Raider Review. Now that winter sports are starting up, let's check out the start of basketball. I'm Dustin Smith, and I'm here with No Gearhart. How's it feel going into your first year of varsity basketball? I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a good one. I'm Dustin Smith, and I'm here with Hunter Jackson. What are you going to do to prepare for the season? Uh, we're going to work hard at practice, and we're going to make sure we have all our plays done. I'm Dustin Smith, and I'm here with Brent Leon. How's it feel going into your junior year of varsity basketball? Uh, it's feeling pretty good. We got a decent amount of kids this year, and we got a new coach. So hopefully, we'll be able to win some games this year, and hopefully, make playoffs. What are you gonna do to prepare for the season? Oh, uh, we're gonna be in open gyms. Uh, we're learn. We have a shooting machine actually that we got this year. We've been using that. We've been scrimmaging each other, and we're learning defensive plays, offensive plays. So hopefully, we'll be able to put it all together by regular season. Thank you. I'm Dosa Smith, and I'm here with. And yeah, I'm Mary. How's it feel going into your senior year of varsity basketball? Um, it's kind of sad, actually. I don't want it to end, but I'm really looking forward for the season. We have some great athletes on our team. I think it's going to be a good season for us. What are you going to do to prepare for the season? Um, we have open gyms right now. Actually, before the season first starts, we're trying to get as many girls out as possible. But I think we just need to work hard. Now on the question of the week. Hi, I'm Brady. And I'm this week's host for Question of the Week. This week's question, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food and why? I'm here with Hayden. So Hayden, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food and why? Oh Lord, it's gotta be the yams. They're just so sweet and savory. I just love them. I love the texture, I love everything about them. All right, good to hear, thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Eli for Question of the Week. So Eli, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food and why? Uh, I definitely love bruised scallops because I only eat them. It's a, it's a tradition for Thanksgiving for us to eat them, and that's the only time of the year that I get to eat bruised scallops. Awesome. Good to hear. Hi, I'm with Xavier for Question of the Week. So, Xavier, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food and why? Uh, I just I just enjoy the texture and the taste of that Thanksgiving stuffing. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Made, made by your, your grandmother. Absolutely. Out in the kitchen. Yep. Just the best. Thank you. I'm here with Jaden for Question of the Week. So Jaden, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food and why? Well, my favorite Thanksgiving food is turkey, okay? Because you, you eat all that, then you're like sitting in a warm room yep. and just fall asleep. Then you get right back up and you eat more turkey. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Appreciate no it. No problem, buddy. I'm with Joel's for Question of the Week. So, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food and why? My favorite Thanksgiving food is ham because the way my family makes it, it's just really good, really delicious. All right, good here. Thanks. Thank you. I'm here with Brent for question of the week. So Brent, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food and why? I'm going to have to say uh, turkey and ham because that's uh, something our family's always done and I really like turkey and ham. Absolutely, thank you. Now let's check out this week's and last week's Athletes of the Week. Hi, I'm Steven. I'm here with Cade, week nine, Athlete of the Week. So Cade, how does it feel to get Athlete of the Week? Uh, it feels really good to be recognized by the coaching staff and see that all my hard work's paying off. And how do you think that you've got it? Uh, I think me working hard in practice and showing what I can do on the field is paying off. All right, thank you. I'm here with Logan, week 10, athlete of the week. So Logan, how does it feel to be athlete of the week? It uh, feels good knowing people get acknowledged for the words like these. All right, so what did you do to work towards this? Uh, hard work and determination on the field. So with the season coming to an end, how do you think the team did overall? Uh, I think we did really well. There's a lot of positive that came out of the season and stuff we need to work on too. All right, thank you. Thank you. Let's see what's going on with the upcoming blood draft. And an interview with Molly. Hi. So Molly, how does donating blood make a difference? Um, donating blood helps many people like in different ways. So you can have like blood transplants, um, people who have cancer, Stuff like that, it's just all reused. I've actually helped with the blood drive for three years now. This will be my second time donating blood on November 12th, I think it is. Um, I'm not sure, don't don't quote me on that. But basically it all it all just helps. They send you a card and it shows you like how your blood helped and how what your blood type is and how it helps everybody. And why do you donate blood? I donate blood because it makes me feel like I'm actually helping someone and that it is a way to give somebody who doesn't have access to that, like, a way to, like, get out of their situation. Thank you. 
So Sage, how does student council play a role in board drive? So basically student council runs the whole thing. Um, when the people get here that do the um, needles and everything, we help them set up their stuff. Um, they bring snacks and drinks so everybody stays like hydrated during the process. And student council sends students there that are in the club to just watch over, make sure everything's going smoothly, and help the people if they need help. How does somebody get involved? Um, someone can ask me or Ms. Hayden to sign up. You have to be 16 or older. Um, if you're 16 or 17, you need a waiver, so you can get that from either me or Ms. Hayden. And then basically you just show up with your waiver and then you donate to help people. Alright, thank you. So Nita, how does the blood drive work? Um, they start by doing tests to make sure you're eligible to give blood. And then once you like pass the test, they give you, um, they then take your blood, obviously. And then after you're done, we have this huge stack of snacks we have at our tables and there's juice for them to drink after it. Thank you. Hello, I'm Aiden and I'm here with Zoe. So Zoe, when is the blood drive happening? November 12th in the gymnasium and it's all day long. Thanks for watching this Raider Review. I'm Evan. I'm Cade. We'll see you next week.